A result marked by cheers. Macedonians who took the time to vote to change the country's name to North Macedonia did so by a landslide. Enough, says Prime Minister Zoran Zaev, to go ahead with a decision. I know, the opposition knows, all the citizens know. There is and there can be no better agreement with Greece. There is and there can be no alternative to Macedonia's membership of NATO and EU. Let's not play games with our unity and our Macedonia. But despite the applause and the defiance, the vote was, to all intents and purposes, a non-starter. Only a third of the country's electorate voted, meaning the referendum didn't meet the requirement of a 50% turnout. Many stayed away after nationalist campaigners urged people to boycott the vote. But Prime Minister Zayev says he'll seek parliamentary approval for the name change, even though opinion on the street is divided. The referendum was, the referendum was held and people expressed their opinion. I think more than 650,000 citizens who said what they think about joining NATO and the European Union is enough. The campaign that was promoting the yes vote put an emphasis on European values and the European way of life. But if we look at the time since Prime Minister Zayev took power, the people who promoted this are not true representatives of those values. Values that are now at a crossroads, yet nationalists and the country's president are vowing to fight against the name change. You know, we all are part of some group, our language, culture, and if you lose that, then you're worth nothing, here and in the world. This was always going to be a contentious vote, and ultimately the name change will come down to how much popular will there is for the country to join the European Union and NATO instead. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera.